my name is Sila back in New York. I'm I from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. And I, I've just read my first uh, 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 Vita Ayala comic, and uh, oh boy, oh god, that was bad. You know. Uh, you know, listen, I went into an open mind. I've, I've been doing these comic book reviews with an open mind. I've been pleasantly surprised by a couple of things. I think the uh, the Batman I, I read last week, pretty darn good. It, it seemed to work. The Swamp Thing, uh, uh, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't, like, awful. Uh, this is truly awful. This is absolutely, truly awful. Uh, massive incompetence on every single level. And listen, to be fair, I'm out the loop of uh, of the X Men, the whole Krakoa storyline. I never got, I never started it. I, I but I know what comic books are supposed to be like, right? I've read comics before. I've read the X Men before. I read, uh, you know, I read the whole Grant Morrison run. I really quite like the Grant Morrison run. Uh, I read the um, that was back what was it, in the two thousands? Yeah, I've read the. Uh, uh, the Josh Whedon, what, Astonishing X-Men. Yeah, listen, I've read it, and I know what comic books are supposed to be like. I've read... I, I, I think the last time I read X-Men was the Bendis run, where they had the X-Men from the past come to the present, and, uh, uh, what's the name? Cyclops was a bad guy and a good guy. Professor X was dead. I think Cyclops... Could, whatever, whatever. But they, I just got halfway through that, and, uh, you know, I didn't see any end in sight. I was just like, uh, uh, enough! I don't care. Are they from the past, the present? I, I, I just, just, I don't care. I, I, I don't care. Uh, uh, but so, then my point is, I know what comic books are supposed to be like. I know what X Men comic books are supposed to be like. This is breathtaking incompetence, which we're going to go through in vivid, de in vivid detail. I hope you find it amusing. I hope you find it more bloody amusing than than I found the uh, the comic. It was really. It, I mean, I tell you, it was what? Uh, uh, how many books? Like. Tw how many pages like 30 pages if that i uh, maybe i don't know it was a struggle to get through an absolute struggle to get through and they're charging five bucks for it it's just ah, garbage it, i i did it's it, it, it breathtaking to me how unbelievably incompetent it is. but then you know there's areas of fandom which i know much more like doctor who uh star trek and it's like it's equal to the breathtaking incompetence that we're seeing there so yeah why why am i surprised i guess i'm an idiot that's why i'm a surprise fine before we get the views can you hit the, the review can you hit the like button can you hit the share button hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe it's free i've been like this close to 2900 subscribers for the last, I don't know, few days. It just goes to 29. It goes to, what's it? 2,899. 2,898. <laughs> it goes back. So if you can hit that subscribe and that'd be really, really, oh, and if you're subscribed, please make sure you're, you're still subscribed. Uh, like, share, subscribe. These are all very, very good things to do. Another good, listen, if you like good comics, if you like good comics, uh, um, this is not, this is not so you. When you like good comics, go, go check out my Indiegogo. That's actually a really, really, two, not one, Two really great comics. Two really, really great comics. Uh, uh, one's like 105 pages long. One's um, 220 pages. These are, again, these, these are, uh, listen, they, I, I'm biased. I wrote them. I, I drew one, right? So I'm biased. But uh, 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 I, I can say this. I can say, I can think I say this with, with some confidence. They, they, they're, they're competent. <laughs> yeah, they're competent. They're professional product. This wasn't. This, uh, Julia, it wasn't at all. So yeah, you, get, you get these two comic books. It's in demand now. The reason it's in demand is not the campaign is still going because uh, uh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> That's really what happened. I pressed the wrong button and, and I emailed uh, Indiegogo Tech Support and they're like, yeah, we're not talking to you. <laughs> they still haven't replied. This was like three days ago. So there you go. It's in demand. It's going to be in demand until um, like the middle of April. I think April 16th on the the holy day of Yom Ha'atzmaut. That's the uh, uh, Israel's Independence Day. At that point, it's going to fulfillment. We're closing it. You can't buy it anymore. And it's done. So you, the, the clock is ticking. This is the last, I know, 30 days that you can uh, get this. I think there's like 10 more. How many do we have left? We have uh, uh, we have nine more at the sale price left of uh, forty bucks, where you get both books and you get a ton of extras. What extras do you get? Listen, I'm just going to go over them quickly. Um, you get these art cards for the male gaze, based on my uh, teenage tit well, my tween age titillations. Um, they're all genre related, of course. We got keeping the British end up. Uh, we got uh, Party Like It's 1999. We've got uh, uh, Don't Even Think It's Citizen, a nice uh, Joe Stready one. And uh, of course, we got uh, uh, No Hanky Panky in the TARDIS, one of my all time favorites. Uh, uh, and then we just added a fifth card. 
uh, it's, uh, uh, I'm sensing strong emotions, Captain. I am sensing strong emotions, Captain. Uh, also, we have a couple of posters, big posters, like 18 by 24. Uh, we have this one, uh, uh, a, a, a Bohemian and Time of Space. And we have this one. Uh, the eyes have it. Right now, these are the add-ons. You got paid extra three bucks on them. When we, if the campaign gets up to 12 grand, then then everybody gets. Everybody gets the two books, gets everything. Uh, oh, and we got another uh, for the male gaze card coming. That's the Slave Lair. Slave Lair will be here sometime this week. So check back and uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully I will interest you. You know what? Not going to interest you. This garbage. This absolute garbage, which is incompetent on every freaking level. Uh, plot, dialogue, artwork. The character design, incompetent, incompetent on every single level. So, uh, you know, again, I, I'm not in the storyline. I do not know what's going on, but I, I've been introduced to storylines before. I walked into storylines before and, and, you know, the normally the people making it have the uh, a competence. Again, it's competence, have the competence to be able to uh, tell a story that is understandable. I don't understand a freaking thing that's going on here. Are these like uh, 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 all new characters being introduced here? I, I think they are, but but who knows? Who knows? Because <laughs> I, I don't even know their names. I mean, try, working out names is pretty tricky. Working out who they are is pretty tricky. Uh, 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 but it, again, it's just massive, massive incompetence. So before we do anything, uh, uh, we're going to look at the character design, which is so 2021. You know, so the the central figure is. Uh, uh, I think she's a lady. I think she's a girl. Uh, and, you know, the designated body type of having no femininity whatsoever. You know, having I mean, small boobs and looking as much like a man as humanly possible. There's a, uh, uh, obviously a stunning and brave black, black person. Uh, there's, uh, um, I don't know. There's, okay, bunch of people, bunch of people. I, I it used to be in X-Men comics, you had this little trope where you've got, like, the little name of the character, you know, as, as, yeah, as you see it. Again, this, I don't know if these characters are new, but this is an issue one. You've got to treat the reader on an issue one that you bring them bring, uh, uh, bring them into it. But no. Uh, uh, okay, so, something else I, I, I just got to point out here. Okay, then, this comic has no level of competence whatsoever. Look at the uh, um, the lettering. It's spaced wrong. It's spaced wrong. It's lowercase, and the and the and the leading, the space between the lines is too much. It's it's just it's wrong. Okay, you use this type of leading, this type of uh, lettering, if you're uh, uh, for some kind of effect. But no, this is the lettering that goes entirely the way through the comic. Okay, so the the plot. Uh, uh, equally bad. Equally bad. So we start off. We got these uh, these new new mutants. Um, uh, in a mutant group, uh, and uh, I, yeah, again, I'm vaguely aware of the uh, uh, creature storyline. They, 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 the creature cracker toe, whatever the bloody thing is called. The uh, uh, the, the storyline. They give you a kind of little blurb at the beginning, which f fills you in. Uh, 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 but still, it's like it, the, the 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 mechanics of storytelling are so weak that I can't work out who is what, what's going on, and, and, and like yeah, who these characters are or anything about them. And just like you know, the uh, 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 the artwork, the the artwork choices are strange, right? I mean, okay, so you see at the bottom of this page, there's uh, uh, someone's getting like like an optic blast, uh, uh, cutting the gun in, in half. I didn't realize that at first. I thought for some reason this character got mad and ripped the gun, ripped the the end, the top off the gun. I, I, but again, this is actually a dramatic moment. This should be the focal point of the page. Like, that should be again. This is a visual medium, a visual medium. Uh, and again, every, yeah, all the uh, uh, exciting stuff is going on in long shot. Like, what? Like, what? Why am I seeing him swoop down and drop this like in teeny tiny long shot? This, this, the visual storytelling is is incompetent, shockingly incompetent. So I included this next page because it has actually something that's not terrible, which it's it's hard to find. It's hard to find. I do like the uh, use of color over here. This red panel. To denote some kind of like emotional change, but it it didn't. Uh, 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 it, it's not really there for any reason. So anyway, so we, the basic plot is we got this group, this new group. They're ta they're taking on. And it took me a couple of times to work this out. They're taking on this group of super villains that are stealing something uh, for some reason. Uh, I think money. <laughs> they're stealing money, and they and they come to stop them. But again, it's so disjointedly told. It's virtually impossible to uh, 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 decide what's going on. The, uh, the main character is clearly a, a you know a homage to 
Uh, yeah, basically we're seeing like like X Men karaoke. It it seems to be uh, like uh, what's the name? Um, Optic Blast guy, whatever his name is. Uh, uh, yeah, Scott. Uh, uh, Scott. Uh, uh, yeah, Scott Summers. Uh, she kind of this this black woman here kind of looks like. Um, What's her name? Uh, not Boom Boom. What was her bloody name? But again, yeah, again, kind of like Greatest Hits. The person uh, in over here is one of the bad people, but who could tell? Who could tell? And there's a lot of like, hey, hey, we're kids and you're silly old people. They're kind of like kids on Twitter, right? They're kind of like kids on Twitter uh, and they end up tying people up. It, it's just, oh, and you can just see they left the money there. Like, uh, really? I, I, I think someone's going to come along and just steal that bag of money before the police get there, you know? So uh, uh, they, 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 after they sort of save the day, I mean, God, look at all this uh, structural damage they make. Um, they get they meet the the real X Men uh, apparently A again I I've, met, I've read the X Men before but I <laughs> it's like okay uh, and these bit this these bit like little no relation with the X Men the dialoguing is just abysmal they have a bit bit of a conversation with with the X Men uh, and then the X Men go back through this portal I think this is to uh their country uh uh, uh where yeah. so it, it's is interesting actually you do get an, an idea of uh, segregationism from the idea of people who like it now the the segregationists nowadays of course are you know the uh uh, uh the, the the stunning and brave people who you know the the the, the, the more left-wingy people of the world they're big into segregation they want to keep all the mutants together we have no like uh we have nothing that that uh, uh um unites us other than we are we have the same I, we're on the same level on the on the progressive stack, sort of maybe. Uh, and they say, "Well, listen, we don't want to ditch our families." Uh, that actually makes a bit of sense, right? Uh, that is, but again, it's lost in the sea of a uh, massive, massive incompetence. Um, so then we get a scene with the original X Men, who are all very generic. So I understand the the ongoing. Um, uh, a theory is that this these aren't the X Men; these are some kind of uh, uh, like knockoffs of the X Men, that, but it's going to be a big reveal like two years from now. So you know, say something like that because none of them really act like the X Men. Uh, I I put this just down to you know shockingly bad writing. You know, I, like yeah, I I don't think uh, uh, I I just don't think Vito Alla has the ability to write characters consistently as as within the characters within the characterization. Look, reading this comic, it seems clear to me that it's not. Uh, it's not that Vida Ayala hasn't spent the years, uh, uh, it's not only that she hasn't spent the years honing her craft and working out how to do this job, because she doesn't know, oh, he doesn't, Vita doesn't know how to do that, because I don't know if it's he or she, Vita doesn't know how to do this, uh, uh, it's not that, it's not that, it's that Vita has been spent her, her entire career, um, being told her work is very, very good, and she shouldn't work on her craft whatsoever, uh, and, and so you get something, you know, massively incompetent, absolutely massively incompetent. I, it, it, I'm just shocked that this actually got made, and, and then people went, "Yeah, that's okay." And so you got this weird, like, I don't know. Uh, uh, this, uh, you have Jean Grey stroking Scott Scott Summers' face for some reason. Wolverine is just—they're all so two-dimensional. Right, and these are very, very well-defined characters. And they they basically have a conversation as if they should kidnap them, uh, kidnap these kids, and force them to go to their their mutant island. Uh, and again, it's it's a view of segregationism from people who like segregationism. And you know, we we do see that a little bit more. So then we have another scene. And again, I I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. So this 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 blonde woman is apparently uh and how I don't know how I'm supposed to put this together. This blonde woman is apparently uh, uh you know the 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 star, the blonde woman from there, right? Uh or the blonde a, a woman, I mean look, she looks she looks like she's about 30 to me in this. Apparently she's she's in school and uh you know we get the uh, the normal like uh, uh terrible uh uh, you know, terrible person not liking mutants. You know what would be much more interesting? Instead of having, like, you know, basing on the deplorables are the ones who are the racist, why not have the media? <laughs> you know, like, ah, listen, the media are not doing so well right now. You know, we just, the media spent you know, many years screaming about a lot of things. Uh, over the last few years, they didn't like the last president. Let's be fair. They didn't like him a lot. And everything, and basically everything that happened, they said, was the worst thing ever. 
And so, uh, 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 since it's a change of administration, uh, uh, the things they say were the worst things, like the kids in cages, for example, have got a lot worse, right? There's a lot more kids in cages. There's a bigger crisis at the southern border than ever before. And the media is utterly silent about it. See, that's like, that's like this idea of prejudice. The, this idea, that's like you could really, you know... Uh, um, uh, 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 sell, but no, they they do it in the most boring way possible by forging this narrative that yeah, you know, half the country are secretly racist. Uh, well, not secretly, I'm very openly racist uh, because they don't believe in the same immigration policies that that you do. Um, again, incompetence in the in the artwork, incompetence in the writing, and the dialoguing. Oh God! Uh, listen, Peter, may may I make a suggestion? Why don't you uh, just say out the uh, some of the dialogue you be, that that you're writing, uh, and uh, and you'll see how clunky it is that nobody actually speaks this way. You know, it's uh, uh, so again. I have no idea who who these people are until the end of the scene where I work out. Oh, this is the uh, this is the young mutant group, right? And then at the end, this kid turns up, and we get a bit of his backstory. He's been in hospital or something, and he's. A great boss basketball player, but we have the white girl. She fa yeah, so uh, uh, she she fancies this black guy, right? But she won't make a move on him because she's white and she doesn't have the same bond as her black friend does. Because again, it's segregationism from the minds of people who like. I, mean, I don't really understand why segregation is a good thing, but it's segregationism from the minds of people who like segregation. So this kid turns up and they and he's better than they, I I don't know I, they play some basketball uh, 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 and that's it and then the, we have this weird ending which I don't really understand that the it's the I think it's the blonde woman again right the blonde girl again she's uh, uh, talking about her single father and how she slips out and they go through this uh, like portal I think to the island right I think to the uh, the mutant island but and, and they step through. And we get this weird kind of like, I don't know, uh, 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 expressionist page. It, I don't know. the I, I don't know what this is trying to, I don't know what story this is trying to say. Are they passing through the portal? And then uh, the next page is they're through the portal, but it looks like they're still in the same place, right? It still looks like they're still in Coney Island or wherever it is. Uh, I, I, it just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Again, massive, massive, massive uh, 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 incompetency. I think that's really the only way of describing it. Massive incompetency. Um, this is... Uh, uh, again, I, I, uh, I can understand. I can understand why you would call comic book people a bit. This is why I stopped reading comics. I stopped reading them because I saw... It, it was just, I just fell out of interest with them because the product is, was getting worse. I had no idea how bad it was going to get. Right, I had no idea. This is just unbelievable. And, uh, so, uh, uh, not a recommend. <laughs> not a recommend uh, for five bucks. Are you out of your mind? This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, uh, I get. I Will I keep keep reviewing this? I don't know. I don't know. So, like, look, the next thing I'm. I. I it's intrigued me because, look, this Vita Allen now is like I. I got to read more of her work because. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's uh, she's so bad. Uh, she's got like uh, there's six issues of James Bond she did, uh, which are like ninety nine cents each. Fine, I'll 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 yeah you know, I'll pull the trigger on that. I'll pull the trigger on that. I'll read. Uh, I I love James Bond. I got to see what this in insanely incompetent uh, you know author does you know does with them. Uh, so like as I said, if you like comics, yeah, no, this might not be for you. If you like comics, this might not be for you. If you if you if you think uh, uh, segregation is bad, that might not be for you. If you like coherent storytelling, might not be for you. If you like comics, however, uh, uh, may I recommend? May I recommend uh, 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 these things over here? Freaking great, in demand. I think the clock is ticking. Uh, I think again, nine nine more left at the sale price. Uh, uh, they're freaking awesome. They're freaking awesome. Uh, uh, my name is Ela Beck, and you are for another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.